and start again from the beginning. Because this Hi. is a song that doesn't end. It goes <laughs> on and on. <laughs> Hi, everyone. My name is Veronique. I'm Michelle. Okay. I'm Kimmy Chameleon. Hello. <laughs> and we are here for our dark coffee chat. Um, if you're following us on um, Google+, Plus, YouTube, or any assortment of other places that you manage to grab this link, thank you for joining us. And uh, we'll start it off with Kimmy. Uh, she recently went and watched The Evil Dead. I stayed as far away from that thing as possible. I love you, Kimmy, for having the bravery that I do not. <laughs> I laughed maniacally through the whole thing. Um, it was disgusting. I loved every minute of it. Uh, I missed the end where uh, I heard that after the credits, there's a a little cameo by Bruce Campbell, but I missed it. Oh. Oh. From, from what I hear, it's just that like he's the ghost from whatever the first one was. Oh yeah, yeah. So so that was that was the only thing that I I managed. Seriously, guys, I'm so sorry. Paranormal Activity ruined every other movie experience for me. Like, every other one. I cannot go to a movie, a scary movie. I write for a dark media news, so it's kind of ridiculous. I but fell asleep during Paranormal Activity. <laughs> my problem, is, <laughs> my problem is, is that I'm scared of noises in the dark. Because oh, I have, like, okay. two cats, so that doesn't help me. It's like, do 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 <laughs> um, so uh, maybe we could also discuss all of the uh, maybe introduce all of the other contributing writers um, talk about them a little bit uh, I don't know if I you want to I don't know who's writing the once upon a time stuff but I love it I don't know who like, I, I, I just go to the, the thing whenever it comes up so if you guys are real fans of Once Upon a Time and uh, don't get to keep up with it and like to you know read the recap, mm -hmm. by all means read our recap. It's just very, very nice and I enjoy it a lot. I, I kind of get a, a good synopsis and then I go back and watch them on Hulu. Hulu. I would I would like to apologize for the drift off of the Vampire Diaries recap. This last season killed it for me. <laughs> and, um, I'm. Uh, I don't know what happened. I loved that show, and then all of a sudden, I was like, "They're pulling plot lines from Buffy the Vampire Slayer no. into every generation. A bunch of Slayers are born. I'm sorry, Hunters. Oh, okay, and they're marked in a certain way. And um, yeah, that doesn't sound at all familiar. Only they're guys instead of girls." And um, they're hunting a an immortal thing, you know, to find a cure for vampirism that they have to, you know, it, it's just like, what? What? Okay, I'm sorry. I can't watch this anymore. <laughs> that <laughs> that happened to me with Boardwalk Empire. Uh, oh. I, feel bad for, I felt bad if, if anybody was following me. I felt so bad for the folks who were reading the Boardwalk Empire. I love that show. Loved it. Season one, season two. When they brought up um, Billy, I was like, okay, this is going to be like a small thing. But they made her another, um, just another one of his like, oh my God, I need to save you type of situations. And I just was like, I'm done. I'm done. Mm -hmm. And when she died, I was like, yeah, party at my house. Party at my house. <laughs> but then after that, they didn't like, they didn't do anything after that that I felt saved it. At that point, she was just, she had just bogged down that particular series so much that I couldn't, I couldn't breathe. Like that whole situation just felt too much like season one. And I, and I was really hoping to get more Capone. And I didn't, but I am. I do know that with the end of the season, <coughs> the way they ended it, I wasn't necessarily happy. I didn't necessarily write a review for it. I will probably write a review for it as the upcoming season for Boardwalk Empire starts. Um, I think what in the summer. 
<coughs> in the summer or the fall. No, it's probably going to be the fall, October. And, um, you know, I, I just, I really hope that Al Capone gets a bigger, a bigger part in the series, uh, for sure. I don't know if any of y'all were watching it. I, I didn't watch it because I, um, unfortunately, I don't get HBO, and HBO is stupid in that you can't get HBO Go unless you subscribe to HBO, which makes no sense to me. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> otherwise, I'd be Change able to this, this HBO. <laughs> you change this now. It's like seriously, I will pay eight dollars or twelve dollars a month. I will pay. I will pay you money. I just will not pay seventy dollars to get HBO and Skinamax. And Somebody because... please make the meme. I'm, take my money, HBO. <laughs> give, give me HBO Go for random normal people. So that I don't have to borrow a friend's HBO Go password, which I would never do because that's stealing. Um, <laughs> or <torrent it. laughs> Never market your product to the stupid rich or the stupid poor. Or, you know, you always market your product to your stupid rich or the stupid poor. You never market your product to the smart rich or the smart poor because the smart poor will find a way to steal your product and the smart rich will buy your company and fire your ass. So... <laughs> this got real serious real quick, everyone. Whoa. <laughs> she just threw some shade. She just threw some shade at HBO. <laughs> Don't throw any more shade. We still need to review the rest of their shows. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not wasn't directing it directly at HBO. I'm putting that out as a good new advice thing right there. And by um, the way, um, the person who because I just got the message, the person who does the Once Upon a Time uh, recaps that I was talking about earlier is Tracy Ladd, L A D D. Mm -hmm. If I'm saying your last name wrong, I am super sorry. <laughs> And she has a um, website called Real Goddess. Mm. And like I said, oh, yes. you can, yes, yes, you can yes. follow her. Love her stuff. Mm -hmm. Very good writer. Um, <clears throat> so, Michelle, are you still in recovery mode for uh, Walking Dead? I am. And um, I was seriously disappointed in the season finale. I was um, not the only one. Thank God. I'm, Okay, I'm sitting there, and, okay, A, too many commercials, way too many commercials. That was number one. It was like, wow, really? And then number two, Andrea, girl, you, you can't sit there and pick up pliers with your toes that are perfectly pedicured, by the way. I didn't realize that Woodbury <laughs> had a salon. And <laughs> you can't pick up a pair of pliers with your toes while this guy is turning into a walker. You have to keep sitting there and going, are you okay? Should we talk more? Should we drag this out even longer? And it's like, dude, dude, are you are are you kidding me? Pick up, and then she picks him up in like two seconds, and then she's gone. And it was just like, that's it. Mm -hmm. I just felt that they wanted us to hate her ten times more than we are. Already did, and so they just dragged yeah. that shit out. I didn't hate. I think this is that I never hated. I never hated Andrea. I never hated. I never really hated her. I didn't like her, and I thought she made really, really stupid decisions. I hated what they, what the writers did to her, because in the comics she is such a strong character. Yes, and I, see, I thought that once the um, what, what was it? I'm, I'm gonna, I'm already, I'm not even gonna mess with my with my nerd street cred. I'm not. <laughs> But the gentleman in the comic book, spoiler alert to everybody, he was supposed to be, okay, give it a second if you guys don't want to watch, spoiler, okay, um, who was supposed to be her love interest, ends up being killed. And then, the, I, I just felt like at that point they were just hoping just just to kind of just drag her along a little further, and then that was it. And I, I felt that was not fair to her character, not fair to how how strong she was as a female, how much she grew through, for the rest of that series. And so, I don't know. I mean, of course, you know, Kirkman's going to say mm -hmm. it's different. It is different. This should not be seen as a, as a main string. But at the same yeah. time, it's kind of like you know we're reading it. Well, I, I said that I think the TV show is Robert Kirkman's fan fiction for his comic series. And he's getting to do everything in the TV show that he wishes he would have done in the comics. And I think that that's the reason why he doesn't 
um, as I has Norman Reedus has said, dude, put me in the co you got to put Daryl in the comics, and Kirkman's like, no. And I, I think and he he's did. huh? I thought he did. Mm -mm. For no. like one hundred, they showed like a little um, a sneak peek of a gentleman with a crossbow, and they said that that's going to be in the next like section mm -hmm. arc that they are in introducing Daryl's character. Hmm. So I'm going to look this up right now while you continue having this conversation, and I will find out if this is true. Find out where I read because, it. Because I, you, if I don't know something that has to do with with Daryl or Rita's character, this is just like big news. Um, but it, that's just what it strikes me as because Tyrese, completely different character in the TV show so far mm -hmm. than what he has been, what he was in the comics. I mean, yeah, I know that there was everybody was saying that the Daryl, uh, Daryl was kind of taking Tyrese's character as Rick's right hand and all that other, but it, it really, uh, now I'm kind of bothered by it because since, you know, spoiler, and if you haven't watched Walking Dead by now, it's been over a week and you should really get, check your DVR. But, um, <laughs> okay, here's, here's an update on this, and this was written May the, f wait, May the 4th of last year, if I'm correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was May the 4th of last year. Um, they were at Image Expo, and uh, Kirkman did mention the fact that Redis has been asking to be part of the comics. And uh, Kirkman says, it's definitely considered, I've definitely considered writing Daryl into the comics. Norma Norman is always pestering about it. All I can say right now is that you've been paying attention to the internet. We did just release a series of teasers called Something to Fear for a new story arc that's coming up. And it's a series of very threatening looking people with very specific weapons, and one of them has a crossbow. Hmm. I, I mean, I remember this, yeah. and I haven't seen anything since. I know they started that particular arc very, very brutally. Mm -hmm. Like, I... If if you haven't read it yet and you and you haven't read the comics, I mean, it will just take you on a whirlwind on a bleh, on a whirlwind wind. I'm I'm not even saying it. On a whirlwind and <laughs> at the end of the day, ride. wind <laughs> on a roller coaster. There we go. And I start messing up the R's. Um, on a roller coaster ride. <laughs> on a roller coaster that will pretty much tear your world apart. But I was no the whole the whole season the whole season finale, and you what what's Rick gonna do with all those people at the prison? Why did he do that? I mean, all the old people and the and I I understand why he did it, but at the same time I don't understand why he did it. And I'm I was so I was just really really disappointed in this in the finale. I was. Um, I can't wait for where season four is going to go. Um, I do know that they did change how uh, Andrea was originally going to die. They, um, ori I've seen the stills. They originally shot her death where Milton essentially rips her throat out. They didn't. They also say that like they were going to make her the governor. Like that was also a rumor. That. And that's that was a, a rumor. But was I, that, I've seen the stills. Kirkman? Was that Kirkman like throwing the rumor around, or was it just somebody? Because I couldn't even—I just remember I heard that news, and I was like, "Really? You're gonna make her? That don't make no sense." You crazy? Well, if you went on, if you went on Tumblr like the week before the 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 season finale, there was a picture of um uh of Redis and you know with his guts hanging out and and hanging from everybody's like, "Oh my God! You know, release shots. Daryl's dead." It's like. No, people, that's from Pandorum. That was several years ago. You should know this. <laughs> I mean, I never, I really don't, I really do not see Normus reading Reedus dying anytime soon unless there is a character that becomes more popular than him. Which, it, you know, I mean, I, I'm a member of Dixon's Vixens. I love. Norman Reedus, loved Michael Rooker, and everything. I cried when Merle died. I was in mourning for like three days. I was seriously depressed. I went to work on Monday, and everybody's like, are you okay? And I'm like, no, as a matter of fact, I'm not. <laughs> and, um, One of my friends died. One of my homies. <laughs> Dang it. And But they can't write a 
they can't write a story to the fans. They can't. It's uh, and if it becomes like that, it it'll ruin the entire. It'll ruin the feel for the whole show. And do I want Daryl to be around as long as possible? Yes, I do. But it, I will be I will be furious if I will probably be more mad if they kill off Tyrese this season. And if they kill off Tyrese in season four, I will be pissed because they brought him in the, wrong. They haven't. Hopefully, we'll get to see everything in season four, and he'll be more more badass like he was in his in in the comics and be that character. But if they kill him off at the if they kill him off in sometime in season four before they've really given him as much as he should have on screen, then that's just wrong. And no, I maybe maybe that's the reason why I felt so bad watching Game of Thrones soon afterwards because I felt like it was such a letdown watching Walking Dead that I go into Game of Thrones with that same. <laughs> <laughs> but I had to remind myself when watching Game of Thrones that day that pretty much we're getting like we we had a really long hiatus one mm -hmm. and two. We're coming back in to everyone getting the effects of everything, like literally the effects right after everything happened. And that for me was just kind of like, okay, take a step back, girlfriend. This is what's happening. Chill out. I heard that Peter, uh, Peter, Dink how do you pronounce his last name? Dinklage? Mm -hmm. is not been is not coming back for season five. No, no, no. That was a that was a an April Fool's rumor. Oh, thank God. I started crying. They're like, because they did it on April Fool's Day. They did the whole drawn out thing about how it should have been like this other dude, this other um, actor who is small in stature. And um, oh yeah, I read I read those tweets. Yeah, no, I, I even read the article joke. from HBO, and I was like, this has to be a joke. And they're like, oh, well, we'll get more information later. And I, I didn't even read back up on that because I was like, that is an April Fool's joke and it is not funny. I almost cried. I almost cried. There's a, there's a, actually a Twitter account called Modern Seinfeld. And one of the tweets on Modern Seinfeld says that um, uh, Kramer is boycotting Game of Thrones because his friend Mickey was supposed to get uh, the role of... Uh, uh, Tyrion and it, and so he's boycotting it, and it was. It sounds funnier when you read it. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Michelle, are you looking forward to a frightmare in Dallas? Yes. Yes, yes, wow. yes. I've heard they've added no, new guests. Are you going to be there at all? We're we're going to Dallas. Are you May well, May third, fourth, and fifth? Yes. Mm -hmm. Why was I not told this? <laughs> We're gonna be there for Frightmare. Mm -hmm. Or by uh, by the airport. I'm gonna see if I can get my little butt to a car and then drive myself over there. Let's see. Yay! Yes, yes. yes. It's finals week, so I have to like make sure I pass. <laughs> I'm trying to graduate, guys. I'm trying. Good. Keep at it. The you guess it. that they have so far, they've had some cancellations. Um, let's see here. Keeping you up to date with stuff going on for Frightmare in Dallas. Yes. Oh, boy. Um, ooh, Tom Skerritt and Veronica Cartwright having an alien reunion. Nice. I'm surprised you, I'm surprised you guys aren't going to the TV sitcom convention in Austin. No, no. We're gonna go, we're gonna go see we're gonna go see some monsters. I we're might go. go I might go to that one just because it'll have stuff that we cover on our station, along with um you know once upon a time cast from once upon a time will be there in Austin for the TV show. I don't know what the heck it's called. Honestly, I will find out more information. But it's a TV show convention, and they will also um, they'll be talking with Once Upon a Time, some folks from Sons of Anarchy, pretty much all the the top shows will be going in and talking there, um, and it'll be interesting. I'm I'm excited. I know I know it's such a dorky thing to say, but I'm excited for Boy Meets World. They they will be <laughs> Vinay will be there. I've heard. 
Well, <laughs> John Bernthal, Lauren Cohen, Nick Gomez, Norman Reedus, Chandler Riggs, Lou Temple, and Vincent Ward from Walking Dead will be at Frightmare. Um, I am, ex but I am extremely excited because, um, like, I, 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 I'm, I'm actually just about right. Danny Trejo is going to be there. Tom Savini, D. Wallace. Uh, it's Sean like Patrick a girl's Flannery. dream. Patricia, <laughs> Patricia Quinn from uh, Rocky Horror nice. Picture Show is going to be there. Chris, Chris Sarandon is going to be there. I mean, there's just going to be so many people that um, I can't even. There's going to be a. I, I, just, I just can't even. And there's a, a film giraffe. festival. There's a film festival too. And Elijah Woods Maniac is going to be there. Uh, screening at the film festival. Oh no! Oh my god! If you have not watched the teaser to this freaking movie, yes, you I did. I jumped. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. Uh, that's what they didn't got y'all. <laughs> Seth, I was scared crapless. Mm -hmm. really, really good. I need to see this. It, they've got a link on it from the Frightmare page. There's there's awesome. that and I saw it I think last year. They showed right they showed this teaser last year, correct? Mm -hmm. And I do not judge me people. I saw it on the Perez Hilton page. And he had, he had put it I was like what the hell is this? He's like, "Oh, it's some scary movie." And I'm thinking Perez Hilton. Nah. So I turn it on and I'm like, "Okay, cool." And just halfway through it, I'm like, "Oh god." Oh god! Oh god! It is oh. the creepiest thing you will ever see. That... Okay, we gotta put that link up because I need to see this. Yes, yeah, so let's let me <laughs> find it for y'all and put it up because see. Oh, by the way, the Peter Dinklage thing was an April Fool's joke. Oh wait, what is it? The Maniac? Maniac, yeah. Elijah Wood. Maniac. Okay. Hey. Uh. Uh. Just the red band, right? That's the one that you saw. Yes, the red band trailer. <laughs> oh, I need to see that. Yeah, I'm gonna put it up for you guys. Um, awesome. On, on the um, on the page for our, um, if you go onto Dark Media on Facebook, if you came from there, hello. <laughs> and um, if you if you want, you can go to the dark the little page that says you know where we are and what we're doing, and. Uh, I will put it in the comment box for you all to take a gander at. But yeah, that that red band trailer is what I saw. I haven't seen any. From what I see here, mm -hmm. they have more. If I'm correct, they have I think one other trailer for it, which I think is the official. Yeah, no, no, wait. Oh, that's red band red band trailer one and red band trailer two. No, no, no. They have all three trailers, both red band and the. Um, the official. most recent one. Yeah, the official one that was released in February. So if you haven't checked it out yet, make sure to check it out, take a look at it, and um, and have fun. Have fun, people. Oh. I, I don't know how much fun you can have watching some poor chick just completely get eviscerated. But by all means, if that's if that's fun for y'all, go ahead. <laughs> oh, I, I, there, there's one part I completely and totally jumped. I was watching it in a dark room, and I just pulled my knees up because... I was like watching it in the morning, and so it's like ha like mid morning, and so it's not like super bright, and I'm just sitting there like, oh, I'm chilling. The the lights aren't on in the house. I don't need to turn them on. I was like, no, I should have turned them on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Michelle, quick update on uh, Dan Franklin's project. Yes. Uh, his Kickstarter. They're at nine thousand. Well, for my mine of mirrors. Uh, they need a total of thirty thousand. I'm really excited about this project. Mm -hmm. I really want them to get funded. I think it's going to be an excellent uh, project, uh, comic book with a full-length album. So, Tom Hodges doing the comic book. Yeah, yeah. He's he. I, I got a chance to look at all of his work in person at WonderCon. All of his. Uh, artwork that he's done and um, yeah, they struck at gold it just seems like a perfect team a match made in heaven so I'm really excited about that 
And um, I had the opportunity to interview a few people last week. I'm still working on the interview to get that published. Uh, really excited about that. I met uh, Neil Fisher, who is the producer of uh, Sushi Girl, um, which started, you know, which is a phenomenal movie in itself. And I met um, Neil Edmund and Neil DeMonte. And they were such sweethearts. They were excellent. I, I had such a great time. Um, so I'm trying to get that interview put out. Um, and uh, Neil Fisher, he had told me that uh, right now he's working on getting The Last Unicorn uh, uh, re-released in theaters. Oh, so yeah. I know. Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> So Man, with that, talk about reliving childhood. Memories. I know, <laughs> I know, I know. He said they're going to go on like a, a big tour to about f like forty something different cities, and uh, uh, with with the author of the uh, of, of the story, and um, so that that should be a lot of fun. I it's just going to be great to see it because uh, we were talking about how how awesome it is to go to a movie theater and see it because a lot of us didn't get to see it in the movie theater we saw it when it came out on VHS mm -hmm. or, yeah. or Showtime or HBO whenever whatever it was on back in the day so I'm really excited about that um, and he, he said uh, that America the band that did the soundtrack uh, is has agreed to possibly remake some new songs Okay. So I just love that movie, so I'm really excited about that. And um, and Clan of the Vein, I'm really excited about that project too. They're going to be doing a Kickstarter for that, so I got to get that interview together. So, <laughs> but I I've had a great couple weeks. Got to meet Dan. Oh my I'm... God. <laughs> Dan Graline. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you get to put up with me doing that at that Frightmare. So, actually, I think yes, we'll both be doing yes. that quite a bit. So, I will say, <laughs> I probably will not have enough gas money. So, I think we should do a Kickstarter. They don't need <laughs> gas. <laughs> gas and other shit for this thing. <laughs> what What will be the incentives? What What are the incentives? What are you gonna do? You're gonna like? They feel warm and fuzzy. Um, in their show heart. your feet. Yeah, show my feet. You do. <laughs> show your feet. <laughs> show your feet. <laughs> oh my god, don't even say I'm that. You never know. <laughs> oh, oh no. Okay, at least it's just your feet. <laughs> well, we can figure that out with Eva. But, everybody, Kickstarter to get all of us together in a room. <laughs> This must happen. Yes. But, but um. So oh, okay. So we um. I want to put. I want it. So we're gonna. We'll get all for the next uh, for the official, official. Official. The official episode of this will be uh. Well, we'll go over and we'll set up all of our links and and if anybody's seen this, if you have anything that you'd like us to cover, um. Please mm -hmm. send it our way. Um, I'm not sure where to send it. I don't know. Where are we going to send any questions? To, straight um, to um, our Facebook? Let's see. What does Eva say? Just watch. She's going to comment right now. Okay, maybe not. She's commenting <laughs> on something else. <laughs> Let's get her attention. Where do... The only reason I'm writing like this, people, is because I have a big plate of brisket, and brisket comes before you. I love you, but seriously. I, I so, love spaghetti on the stove. Uh oh. Oh my god, go get it. Go get it. <laughs> okay, um, Eva has said. Okay, never mind. I, like, I write the question and she already answers me. Okay, uh, Eva says to send your um, questions and other wonderful goodies to um, our Facebook goodies? page. <laughs> other goodies. Yeah, if you have goodies, you tell Eva. And she will figure out a way to send it to us, whether it be food, candy, not peeps. I am not cool with them. They are sh pieces of diabeticness. What? What? Peeps. Oh, peeps. 
Oh, peach. Oh. But Cadbury cream eggs are totally cool. Yeah, if, if, oh, if there is a sale on Cadbury cream eggs in your area... Wait, we'll work for on? food. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Here, pull it back a little bit. You can't see it. There we go. She will work for food. And Cadbury cream eggs. That came out wrong. Oh, well... <laughs> That is your fault, Missy. <laughs> Working for food. But yeah, I, you I, can... I like nachos. She likes nachos. I don't know if you can ship that, but you can ship the ingredients for that. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of jerky. You guys are kind of like making us do the work, but okay, we're not we're not haters. Um, you can send a private message to our um, Facebook page, Dark Media, on Facebook. Please find us. And uh, send us a private message with your questions. You can also put your questions in the comment box below for a YouTube. Or you can even go so far as to put it on our Facebook page and be like, this is what we want you guys to um, talk about. Because we obviously just went all over the board here. Mm -hmm. And even yeah, we'll follow a format, we'll get, uh, we'll get uh, a definite structure to this. Um, we'll get... I'll figure out how to get our names on the bottoms. Um, and Michelle will figure out how to make sure her computer works the first time. Yeah. Well, Yay. Yeah. This is this is rehearsal, so we'll we'll get we'll we'll, we'll probably have a we'll get all the bugs fixed. Even, bugs. Like nachos. Yeah. So, anyway, so. Yay! Okay. Awesome. And so if you guys if you guys like the name of the show that's great if you guys have suggestions for the name of the show that is also very cool mm -hmm. because I just called it whatever the heck I thought and uh, that usually oh, sh show me your feet <laughs> <laughs> again really is this it like, I'm, I'm not even joking now if there's another email from you someone... need to hang the chicken in the back with the feet showing behind you that's here, just gonna have guys, to happen look if you really want to see my feet here <laughs> See, there's chicken feet right there. You don't need to ask me anymore. They are beautiful and and furry, fuzzy. The chicken even doesn't care at this point. The chicken's like, "Hey, bro, look at my feet. I do not care." See, see, look at look at her face. She's just like, "Yeah." Look at my feet. But yes, thank you guys so much for joining us on our rehearsal. Hope we didn't bore you guys out. Hope uh, hope we didn't bore you guys or make you feel uncomfortable at all. Maybe just I, I I meant to. I meant to make everybody feel uncomfortable. <laughs> Michelle's face is like not pleased. Or she's frozen. Hey. <laughs> I can't. Oh, okay, she's not frozen. I was like, she she just had a frozen screen that was like not pleased. No. With Baby's face, she's like, screw this. It was like, that, it was like that Olympic, that Olympic uh, gymnast. You remember? She like, and it was like an. <laughs> wait, 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 let's let's try it. One, two, three. Okay, now she's <laughs> <in> frozen. <laughs> she gets frozen in the wrong positions. Like she doesn't even. She doesn't even. <laughs> like, okay, do it. Do what? It. Do the face. Okay. <laughs> See, the chicken doesn't. The the, the chip it, The chicken <laughs> gives no farts. Gives no farts. Does not care. Oh, it doesn't give a fart. Okay, I get it now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Wrong. I think it's time to go. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Thank you guys so much okay. for joining us, Bye. and uh, don't forget, join us here again on. Um, that's weird. Join us here on Sunday at what time did I say we were coming back? I don't even remember. Uh, two, but, two Pacific. Two, two Pacific, four, four Central. And then five. Wait. Five, Eastern. Five Eastern. Five Eastern. You know what? We'll put this all on the Facebook page. If y'all are confused by our random numbers, we will. Which we are this too. Out. So we have to write it down as well. Yeah. We we don't understand numbers. Okay. You know, well, okay. Some of us. Kimmy probably does. <laughs> I don't understand anything. <laughs> <laughs> and we will do this right. Yeah. yeah. 
Bye. 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 I don't know how to turn it off.